The development of the new American Vulcan rocket by United Launch Alliance has achieved another milestone. The first flight hardware arrived at the Florida Launch Pad Number 41, where it will undergo testing. The first flight model of the Vulcan rocket was assembled at the nearby Vertical Integration Facility during the end of January and beginning of February. When all the tests were completed, the platform, along with the rocket, was transported to the launch pad on March 9th. The mobile Vulcan launch platform looks similar to the one used for the Atlas V rocket at first glance. However, its design allows for the placement of the larger diameter Vulcan rocket, which will also be powered by liquefied methane. After traveling on the tracks that connect the assembly tower to the launch pad, the platform arrived at its destination. Within a few hours, the first tanking test began to verify the filling of the first stage tanks with liquid oxygen and methane. Because it is expected that the tests will take a very long time each day, United Launch Alliance decided to prepare two shifts of operators for the entire process. The workers from the first shift are responsible for preparing the test and tanking of the rocket. Their colleagues from the second shift, on the other hand, will ensure the removal of propellants from the rocket and its safety. Once the tanking tests on the launch pad are completed, the mobile platform will be disconnected from the launch pad systems. Then, the platform, along with the rocket, will return to the vertical integration facility, where the installation of the payload fairing will primarily take place. The first launch of the new Vulcan rocket could come in May. The payload will be the Peregrine Lunar Lander from Astrobotic, two Kuiper test satellites from Amazon, and a payload from Celestis, which allows interested parties to have their remains sent into space. Thank you for following Spaceflight News. If you've made it this far, we assume that you're really interested in space exploration. In that case, I recommend that you consider subscribing to our channel so you won't miss any new episodes.